Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 21st of 2021, well, it is titled Introducing Comet Leonard. So what do we see here? Well, this was a comet that was discovered earlier this year when it was out beyond the orbit of Mars. And as it approaches inward, it starts to grow and we see a comet essentially is a ball of ices uh, way out in the solar system. And when it gets in closer to the sun, it gets heated up. So we can't actually see the comet itself here. We're seeing the material that has been vaporized from the small nucleus of the comet. And that forms a halo around it, which we see in the green. And that's often caused by carbon emissions. And we see the tail stretching back away from it, uh, pointing away from our sun. And that happens as it gets closer and closer, the coma and the tail will get more prominent. And it is quite possible, although we cannot say for sure at this point that the tel that this comet may be visible to the naked eye. So you may right now you need a telescope or binoculars to be able to see it. And in fact, this one was taken with a, a medium sized telescope and was a number dozens of images put together to take this to take this image. So that uh, was put together multiple images. In fact, images were looking at specifically tracking the comet and others tracking the stars. And that's because they don't move at the same rate. The comet is like a planet and moves around the solar system and will move among the stars. So if you try to take a really long exposure of a comet, it will end up the stars will end up forming trails as they move. So here digitally images were taken separately of the stars and the comet and then put together to be able to give us this nice steady image here. So hopefully as this uh, comet comes in with its closest approach to Earth coming up in mid-December and then its closest approach to the sun in early January, those are the times that it will be the brightest. So as we see how this comet turns out when it comes in toward the inner solar system, it's quite possible that we may have a comet to be able to look at over the uh, end of this year into the beginning of next year. So something to look forward to. Hopefully the comet will be a good site for those who want to try to take a look at a nice comet as it moves into the inner solar system and then begins to head back out. So that was our picture of the day for November 21st of 2021. It was titled Introducing Comet Leonard. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon building. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.